Hello everybody. Today I'm going to uh, explain how we use a different technique for classroom. So for every people thinking the classroom has to have a machine like a projector or uh, the uh, document cameras, whiteboard, all these kind of things uh, they are trying to do use for smart classroom. There are a lot of people talking about smart classroom. It looks like a smart classroom make a very intelligent education system which will really transform the, the classroom to be a most advanced one. So I want to review what the uh, technology has been used in the real classroom. You see now I'm, I'm showing the uh, uh, several pictures combined so in the very ancient time, they have no uh, whiteboard, and they just have uh, some talking in the in the some space where all the people coming together. This is the uh, image I got from the web page, uh, showing about Egypt schools. And after that, we invent the blackboard, which is the uh, biggest innovation in the history, I believe. In the Google, they mention this one came out. Uh, 1980, first time in the in the world. So that's a whole thing we have in this classroom. After that, every classroom about 200 years has been used to this uh, whiteboard or blackboard for teaching in the classroom. That's why they limit the space of classroom about 20 to 60 students in a classroom where they can see the blackboard and also they can listen and watch the teachers. So uh, eventually we have a projector and we have a notebook and finally people has uh, uh, the whiteboard and also we also have a lectern uh, where they can control everything very easily, has a document camera sometimes. So all that device has been used for classroom to make a better education than ever. So unfortunately there is no big jump to have a new smart education system. This is the picture I got from internet saying that all the technology used in the classroom they have um, uh, the interactive control uh, desk and also they have a class pad, they have a whiteboard, projectors, classroom control systems and the overhead document cameras and all this technique has been used based on the projector to show something on the large screen in the classroom. And they have a Moodle or a Sakai or a Blackboard combining this uh, lecture capture or video to show in the website. So they are trying to bring the lecture to the uh, smart world. But unfortunately, all this method has been used. I show you some uh, example uh, used in, in Korea. This is one of the most advanced classroom we are using in the, in the Busan. So you see there is a, a students in the classroom. They have a lot of projectors, TVs, and projector screens. All the advanced devices has been used to, to enhance the classroom. What it happened means that small characters here and the brightness always suffering to the classroom and making very confusing for people to select which one they have to watch. This is one of the cartoon I made. So they are watching, one eye has to watch here, the other one watching there. This is small cartoonish image to bring you the concept how the classroom happened right now in the smart classroom. Excuse me. So the, uh, this is the photo I got the picture from USA classroom. So same thing happened. The teacher normally teaching from here using the VTR PowerPoint uh, tablet. Uh, and also document camera, they show everything on the project screen. Most of the USA classroom has a teacher in one place and every student is mostly watching the project screen. That's the very typical way they are using right now in everywhere. So I want to uh, show one thing about the difference between TV generation and smart generation. Smart world has a little bit different philosophy than TV Error, error. I mean, the, my pronunciation is not good. Anyway, the the concept and philosophy of TV is they have a broadcast station where they send the content there, and the, all the 
family sitting in together and watching TV. This is a TV generation. Watch together at one place uh, where all the broadcast stations decide the content. But the smart device now, we are living in a smart world. Every people sitting in one place, they are gathering there, but they are watching individual things. They have a, a very high quality, I mean, the smart device to watch. So that's the meaning that watch individually from anywhere, everywhere, anytime. This is the concept of smart world. So if you apply the philosophy of TV generation and smart device, we can figure it out what classroom has to be done. So the classroom has to be the smart world, the smart content, smart lecture, smart classroom has to be changed in a different way. So smart class is the different world, which means as long as you are trying to use a blackboard to, to grab all the attention in the classroom, it doesn't work for a smart world. The smart device will separate the content to individual students. That's why we need a something different one for the smart classroom. And also we need the content which the students can individually watch and from any place and also any time. That's the, that's the philosophy of smart device. That's the way to go for smart classroom. So here now I'm trying to show all the classroom lecture to the smart device. I would say the blackboard is become to the smart world windows. So the, the internet become classroom and also the blackboard convert to smart device screens. So the iStudio I'm trying to show, as you see here now, you are watching the, my video in smart device. And that will show you how it looks like. And I am bringing multiple monitors as an example. You can put many monitors as you want. And where you can define my notebook here, USB document camera here, and also some image and pictures over, over here. So they can, they can change the image here, monitor 3, and, and immediately I can bring the monitor bigger where I can show other things. And same thing like a document camera, or some topics of the today. So this is the device I'm using now. So that device has uh, just an iStudio machine and I'm using my notebook. Actually here I have a notebook there. So this notebook showing the content on this monitor so I can make a bigger for this monitor and presenting this monitor as like you do for your notebook to show in the projector screen. So th this one is the combining the content in virtual classroom. Instead, the teacher is showing individual things on the project screen, still teaches here, so every student has to watch either teacher or project screen. But right now, we are combining everything, including the teacher. Sometimes I make a teacher very big, so every people watching teacher's face. Sometimes we make a project screen big, so all the students here don't have to decide which one they have to watch, but they should concentrate on watching the screen is like they are watching movies. So this device is very simple. So for the classroom, we normally bring that machine, just a simple machine over here. And then the teacher's tablet connected here. And also we put the camera to bring teacher together with the, the presentation material. And this output is going to projector. So projector will show like a CNN style newsrooms on the screen. And also it's very beautiful. It's like I'm showing now. The screen here is very different, like this way. So all the technology to build screens, studios are very easy. So you can change everything very quickly by yourself. So that way we bring the presentation in a classroom and, and every people will uh, easily understand so they can see all the things. Once we put this machine in the classroom, the teacher with green screen, they teach and then this one showing all the uh, presentation in front of him. So eventually, he is watching students. Same time, he's watching the upper screen while this upper screen going on to projector where all the students are watching the teachers. Uh, one of the interesting thing we have here is we can also put teacher in the back. We call this is a flipped teaching. Instead of a teacher teaching in the front, teacher can teach in the back of the classroom. So he is teaching, watching same up screen 
together with the students, so he, he is thinking what the students is watching and he can easily change all the content very easily. In that case, all the students here has to concentrate on watching the screen by themselves. So when he teach in the back side, they also has watching the screen like this. And all the students will be more concentrated watching. And what it means, this screen, exactly what teacher is teaching, exactly what students are watching, can be recorded, can be streaming all over the world. That means smart lecture can be recorded and also can broadcast all over the world or another classroom can watch this exactly same video on this screen. So once we prove this method is really nice, I would say better than the live lecture without this device, that means this content, this lecture video can be recorded exactly the same as classroom, exactly perfect video recording for smart world. That's the whole concept I'm bringing in now. It's like you see here, I have a three screen. You can bring any notebook screen in one, any one of this, uh, the, the screens, so you can change everything very easily. Or you can also put USB document camera in another screen, another image here. You're just changing the image very easily here. So you can, you can make uh, this kind of a screen change very easily, as like I'm doing for other screen. So all this changing become very, very simple. So you can make a very nice presentation without touching any hardware and software. You're just using the mouse to control everything by yourself. So once we have this uh, in the classroom, every uh, screen will have the uh, smart content, which I'm showing right now. Same thing will show in smart device, not only in this classroom, but also in any place in the world. So iStudio is a really new innovation of the presentation device. And also this one can connect with uh, Skype or any other things to show in, in, in any place in the world. That means smart classroom really happen using iStudio. I hope everybody understand what I'm trying. Even my English is not so perfect. But I hope you enjoy my presentation and use this one to change the paradigm of education. Thank you very much.